again and welcome back to the second episode of Monkey Tries Art Supplies. So today I'm trying the Colorase Erasable Coloured Pencils and the Handbook Journal Co sketchbook. It's a 5.5 inch square sketchbook and it's suitable for sketching um, pens and light watercolour, although I haven't tried watercolour on it yet. It's got this really cool cloth cover and uh, that little book marker there which is really nice orange. The pages have a really nice texture, which you'll see in a bit when I start swatching stuff. So the first step was to sharpen the pencils for what seemed like 11 years. Um, I got a super hand cramp during this, but they're all sharpened now and ready to draw with. So I started um, swatching the pencils out and I noticed immediately that they have a really lovely texture, they're really soft and the texture of the page works really nicely with them. There's a lot of colours to choose from in the red section. Um, I'm not really quite sure of the green and the blues, they're a bit bright. And I used my little Muji pen to write down the names because I didn't use that yesterday in my Muji pen video. Oh and then I'm doing the eraser test because these are erasable colour pencils, right? And they do erase pretty well, like they're not 100% erasable. I guess nothing is in life. <laughs> and then these are the colours. I really love that Tuscan red and the Carmine red and that purple's pretty cool too. So like yesterday, I'm just doing a little warm up sketch in my 365 days of sketching sketchbook. That's a mouthful. So I do these little faces because later on I'm actually gonna draw a face. So I thought this would be a pretty good warm up. Didn't like that face, but hey, it's erasable. So I'm not very good at drawing faces for imagination. Um, these are kind of like super cartoony. I do like a few of them, like this red one here I quite like. It's just a, just a bit of a warm up. And now I'm moving on to the main event, which is basically a little portrait. So I just went on Pinterest and it was literally on the first page. I just found a face and ran with it or drew with it. She was looking up in the photo, so she has that really wide um, jawline. And I often find when I have my sketchbook flat on the desk, I kind of warp the perspective. So I'm lifting up here to kind of get a bit of perspective back. But um, I think I drew the face a little bit squished, but it's okay. I don't mind. So yeah, the pencils. Overall, I'm super happy with them. I can see why everyone raves about them. They are really lovely and soft and you can get like a really wide variation of um, thicknesses. Not thicknesses, uh, darknesses. Yeah, so you can go from super light to super dark. Um, one thing I did notice about them is they're quite smudgy because I've been using, I guess, harder pencils or mechanical pencils and they don't smudge. So and I don't know why, but I always seem to work from the right hand side of the page to the left hand side of the page. So it's a bit backwards. Um, so I did end up smudging it quite a bit towards the nose area. So that's one thing to look out for. I'm not like the kind of person to draw with colour pencils, so smudging for me isn't really the best thing because I like sketching with it. But if you're someone who likes to blend pencils or smudge them, I guess, I think these would be really good. And the sketchbook was a really nice size. I did cut her head off at the top. I tend to cut people's heads off a lot actually. But um, yeah, it was really nice working with the square format. I really like this square format. And then obviously you can go like long if you're doing a landscape or something. And I guess you could turn it on its side if you're doing like a longer body or, or a longer head or someone with long hair. And then I thought I would try using markers on the paper. Um, they soak up the markers a lot 
I don't think it's the best paper for markers. And then also, when I flip it over, now, yep, you can see it bleeds through to the other side really badly. And then also on the right hand side there, it kind of bled through to the second page. The markers do look really nice on the paper and I also wanted to see how they worked with the pencil because I heard that these color erasable colored pencils are really good for markers because they blend really nicely and you can kind of see on the edges there they go a bit darker and kind of smudge in which I think is a pretty cool look. Um, and then just adding a little bit of highlights and it looked like here you can see they turn pink. I think the ink soaked up the color of the pencils because they're so vibrant. I'm just choosing the right red pencil there. I thought I'd just do a little bit of pencil shading. This is literally as far as sophisticated as my pencil shading goes. Smudging it in with my finger. And then I add a little bit of black to the eyelashes and I think I call it a day. So yeah, that was my first experience with the Colour Aid coloured pencils. Um, I think they're really awesome. I'm really looking forward to sketching with them in the future. And that was it for today's video, so I hope you enjoyed that. Tomorrow I'm going to be looking at fine liners, so pop back if you want to see some of those. Thanks for watching. Bye!